much do you think a man should have before settling down? As much as he wants to feel. The comfort he wants to enjoy should determine how much he should have. So if he wants to have 50,000 Naira, he will enjoy 50,000 Naira comfort. If he wants to have 50 million, he has to, uh, if he wants to enjoy 50 million Naira comfort, he has to have 50 million Naira. These days, when you ask men why they are not married, one of the answers you get is that they are looking for money. So today, we hit the streets to find out from people how much they think a man should have before settling down. My name is Dolapo Amodeni. You are on to Legit TV. I don't think that he needs any, any amount to settle down. So far, he knows that he's sure of himself. So, and he's hard working. So, he can go ahead. So if your man should have like, let's say 100,000, you feel it's enough to plan your wedding? It's not, it's not about the money first. Money is important in marriage, but it's not, I didn't think that it's not, it's not about money first. It's not about what, it's what you have ahead, the plan, the vision. I think that's the first priority. But um, everybody, man can have a minor that is, after getting married, the, the minor cannot be used on the, on the woman. So I don't believe in money much like that. You get ready. To be for one is to be for armed. So you get ready. You can have 10 million, 20 million, that at least have investment so that you won't be crying. So yeah. now you're telling me that if your wife gives you a budget of 20 million, you're good to go? Uh, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but depending on the standards and that thing, if both of you agree to want it like um, now, you want to settle down now, fine. But if you are still waiting for the container uh, on the on the ocean, like my Ibo brothers, so you have to, you know, make everything get um, in place before you get married. Because I've actually seen people settling down with the pay, forty thousand, fifty thousand, whichever way. So that's how I see it. It's not until you have a million naira. 20 million, 50 million, and stuff like that before you settle down. It's all about your mindset, like, what's my target? This is actually what I want to do in so 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 time. So, what happens if you want an elaborate wedding, like a 5 million naira wedding, and your, your husband tells you, Oh, I just have a million naira? Okay, personally, an elaborate wedding is. Not something I really look on. I look forward for to a wonderful marriage than an elaborate wedding. For me, wedding is like a matriculation into the school of marriage. So we should just have something modest, something good, but we don't have to spend a fortune. Let's have a great marriage other than an elaborate wedding that will make a statement, but that won't last. Maybe we'll begin to have financial issues and all that. So let's just be modest, decent. Let it be good and then let's enjoy our marriage. Let's be able to go to where we want to go to. Let's send our children to schools that we want them to go to. Let's just do the things they want. So for me, an elaborate wedding at the expense of a great marriage is a no. But the most important thing is for you to be able to have um, the basic things. Like um, you have a house, um, you have a car, you can move and you have the ability to provide for your wife. I think that's all. That should determine how much. That should that should determine how much you a man should earn, um, or a man should have in his in his bank accounts before before settling down. The beautiful thing is that as a man, you need to be doing something because by the time you are doing something, it makes you to be more responsible. And once you get married, you're going to be responsible and take care of your children, your, your wife and the children. But we know that um, women these days, everybody wants a fairy tale wedding. So what happens when you don't meet up to our expectation? I think, I think that's the area women actually lost it. Because when a woman, like a lady like, okay, this is the kind of, no, 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 no. But I think in that scenario, that's why some ladies, to, they grow up to see and they, they, they can't get married because they benchmark the set for themselves or for, the, for their future husband. But as a responsible and reasonable woman, I want to at least set you down. You don't have to give a, 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 a want to be a benchmark. That is what you should do before getting married to me. Wow, <laughs> that's a that's a fantastic question. Absolutely, it's not it's not a matter of my money, but 
The question you just put straight to me, Miss Life say you should have a million or half a million should be okay. Um, financially, I can't really say, but I think it's all about understanding and love. So uh, when it comes to um, the financial aspects, I think if both of them, they, they are cool, they are cool to go, I think they can settle down at any, at any time. In the society of today, how much do you think a man should have before settling down? <laughs> Wow, it's been an hectic day. People, they vex for the streets. Some people want an elaborate wedding. Some just want a low-key wedding. But like they say, one man's food is another man's poison. For me, I would like my man to have minimum of two million air before thinking of settling down. gg.ng find hundreds of sellers close to you selling fashion items at unbeatable prices gg sell faster buy smarter that's all for today on street gist on legit tv shout out to emmanuel oshodi and damilare okola see you next time